Hi, good afternoon students. Our topic this afternoon is about radicals. So, kapag mayroon tayong ganitong expression, um, let's say, N, tapos may A raised to M tayo dito, ang basa na ito ng ganitong expression is the nth root, okay, the nth root of A raised to M. Again, ang ganitong expression can be re or can be read as nth root of a raised to m. So, bale, ang um, itong expression na to, this uh, symbol, ito yung tinatawag nating radical sign. Okay? Ang tawag natin diyan is radical sign or mas madalas tinatawag itong square root symbol. Okay? Square root symbol. Yan. So, ito naman na N na maliit na numero, ang tawag namin dyan is the index. Okay? And this expression sa loob ng radical symbol mo or square root symbol is what we call the radicand. Ulit, this whole expression is read as the nth root of a raised to m and this symbol this one ang tawag natin dyan is the radical sign or much known as square root symbol and this n there is what we call the index okay so this expression this nth root of a raised to m can be transformed into a raised to m over n at ito naman yung tinatawag nating exponential form. Exponential. Um, rephrase natin at hindi ka siya. Ito yung tinatawag nating exponential form. So, meaning, this radical expression can be transformed into what we call exponential form by, tingnan nyo, yung base natin dito, yung base ng a ng m, exponent m, a, ginawa natin is retain natin as a. And then yung m na exponent ng a natin becomes the numerator of your exponential, uh, of your fractional exponent. Tapos yung index naman natin becomes the um, denominator. Ulit. From radical expression, transforming this to exponential form, simply lang, gagawin natin is kokopyahin natin yung base, A, A, A. Tapos yung exponent ng base natin na A will become the numerator of your fractional exponent. Tapos yung index naman natin will become the denominator of your fractional exponent. Okay? So, to give you more example of that, let's have this one. Okay, now rewrite the following to radical form. So, from 3 raised to 2 over 3 from this uh, exponential form, this can be written in a radical form as cube root of 3 raised to 2. Again, the denominator of your fractional exponent will become the index still, itong 3 natin na to will still be the base of the radicand at yung numerator will become the exponent of your base under your radicand. Okay? So, ulit. Let's try this one. Again, ang denominator natin is 5, so 5 will become the index. So, ang basa niyan is 5th root of 2n quantify natin yan, raise to Three. Pwede din natin ipasok yung 3 na yan mismo doon sa 2n natin to uh, make it more uh, simplified. So, 5th root of 2 raised to 3 is 8 and then n raised to 3 is n raised to 3. Okay? So, this is now your final answer then. Ulit, so two, the quantity 2n raised to 3 over 5 in the uh, denominator natin, 5, will become the index. So, ang basa niyan is 5th root. 2n is your base, 2n, 2n. And then, our uh, numerator of the fractional exponent will become the exponent of your base, 2n. Okay? Tapos, ipapasok natin yung uh, exponent na yan dito sa 
2 and 10, magiging 2 raised to 3 is 8, n raised to 3. So, the final answer will be 5th root of 8, n raised to 3. Again, ang base niyan is 5th root of 8, raised, of 8, n raised to 3. Let's try this number 3. Um, base natin is 5, so copy natin yung 5. Enter natin ng radical symbol and ang ating denominator is 4 and make it the index and ang exponent natin ng 5 will become the numerate uh, will, which that is the numerator of your fractional exponent 3 so 5 raised to 3 is 125 okay so meaning the final answer will be 4th root okay 4th root of 125 okay Again, observe natin para hindi kayo malito. No? Lahat ng denominators ng fractional exponent mo magiging index at yung numerator mo will become the exponent of your radicand. Again, in number 1, 3 ang denominator, so 3. 2 is your numerator, so 2 ang exponent ng iyong radicand. So, 3 raised to 2. By the way, you can have this one as cube root of 9. Okay? So, for number 2 naman, ang denominator mo is 5. So, 5th root ngayon, that is your index, 5th root of 2n raised to 3. 2n raised to 3. Pasok natin yung uh, exponent na 3. So, 2 raised to 3 is 8. n raised to 3. Dito naman sa number 3 natin, ang 4 natin is the denominator. So, that's your index. So, ang base niyan is 4th root of 5 raised to 3 as your exponent of 5 kasi siya yung numerator mo so 5 raised to 3 is 125 so 4th root of 125 is the radical form of 5 raised to 3 fourth. question okay how about this one <clears throat> palitan natin um, kanina we do the rewriting of the exponential form to radical form now this time we are now going to rewrite radical form to exponential form so, babalik na rin natin yung process. Okay? So, kukopyahin natin yung radicand. That is your 11x squared. I-quantify natin kasi that is under 1 over 3. Okay? This is now your fractional uh, or exponential form. Dito naman sa number 2 natin, that is 3. Ang exponent ng 3 is 1. It is understood na kapag wala kayong nakikitang index dyan, it has an imaginary 2. Kaya tinawag yung radical sign natin as squared symbol. Okay? So again, kapag wala kayong nakikitang index, it is understood na mayroong 2 dyan. So ibig sabihin, you're getting the square root of 3. So meaning, if you're going to transform this to exponential form, that will be 3 raised to 1 half. 1 kasi ang exponent ng 3 is 1. At ang index natin dito naman ay 2. So, 1 half. Okay? So, dito naman sa number 3 natin, simple lang, W. Again, ang exponent W mo is 1. And then, index mo ay 3. So, that, is, that will be the denominator of your fractional exponent. Thus, the cube root of W in exponential form is W raised to 1 third. Doon naman sa number 4 natin, this will be 3 raised to 1 over 5. Okay? 3 raised to 1 over 5. And in this number 5 naman, we have x raised to. O ano exponent ng x natin? Okay, good. So that is 10 over 2. Or simply, x raised to 10 over 2. 10 over 2 is 5. So therefore, you can have this one as x raised to 5 instead. Okay? And lastly, we have here x y and z quantify natin para isahan na lang ang exponent nila ay 1 so lagay mo dyan 1 tapos ang index mo ay 3 so over 3 so meaning the quantity of x y z is equivalent uh, is raised to 1 over 3 question okay and that's it